Hello friends, uh, I'm Parwes and this is our 19th video in PyQt5 GUI programming. Uh, in the last video we have uh, covered grid layouts uh, in PyQt5. This is our grid layout example. Uh, we have uh, rows and columns in grid layout. And in this video we are going to cover uh, check boxes in PyQt5. Uh, I'm going to uh, make a new Python file and I call it check boxes. Uh, like this. Now, like previous video, I copy my window code and paste it in here. And I change the title to PyQt5 uh, check boxes. If I run this, you will see a nice window. Yeah, PyQt5 check boxes. Uh, now, in this section, in your init window section, uh, at the top, now, okay, the first thing you need, you should import some, uh, uh, the first thing you need to import is uh, Q label, uh, also we need a Q checkbox, like this, okay, uh, now in here, Make a new variable at name of checkbox, uh, Q checkbox, and I give it uh, do you like football uh, like this? Okay, uh, now if I run this, I will see a checkbox. Yeah, uh, do you like football? Now I want to move this the center for this check your take your checkbox dot uh, move. Mm, I want to move this uh, uh, 120 and oh no 100 by 100. Now if I run this, you will see that it's now in here. Okay. Well, uh, if you want that your checkbox should be toggle. Uh, for this, you can make a uh, checkbox dot toggle. Now, if I run this, you can see that now it's toggled. Okay. Uh, now we are going to add some functionality to this checkbox. Uh, for this reason, uh, I want to make a label self dot label. Uh, I mm, q label. And uh, uh, for now, I want to give just hello because I want to remove this. We don't need any uh, text in our, in our this label. Give itself. Okay, now if I run this, yeah, I have a label now. I want to move this solve dot label dot move. I want to move this label 120 by 150. Uh, now if I run this, ok, now it's in good position. Mm, I change this to 100. Let me check it. Yeah, now it's good. <coughs> ok. We are, now it's time that we should define our, uh, define a method in here diff check box change uh, basically what we want uh, when uh, a user or a person uh, mm, check or uncheck the checkbox we want to perform an action we want to uh, make signal on the slots in this section and give another variable to a state okay uh, now the first thing you need you should remove this hello I want to remove this Okay, now we are making a condition if a state is, and also you need uh, another import in here. Uh, I import from uh, pyqt5 dot qt core import qt. Okay, if our state is checked. 
we are going to uh, take our label cell dot label and we want to set a text to the label uh, yes I like football okay else and else we are going to set a text to our label label dot set text no I don't like football okay uh, now we are going to connect our uh, method uh, checkbox dot take your checkbox dot state change state change dot uh, connect we want to connect this to uh, self dot checkbox change okay uh, now you can check the code from the top now we are going to run our application hopefully we don't get any error yeah uh, we have now our checkbox now there is nothing if I uncheck this no I don't like football and if I check this yes I like football no I don't like football and if I check this yes I like football uh, thank you guys this was our uh, 19th video in PyKeta 5 GUI programming uh, please uh, like my videos and also please uh, subscribe my channel for the further videos